area, which looks like a uh, type of uh, gardening area, got into their equipment there. You see a bird, uh, chip file there on fire, as well as a lot of uh, uh, other it, it items down in there, because that's their storage yard for a, 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 a gardening area. But you see right here, we got some vehicles on fire around the offices of that. So this fire came all the way down from the hills, down through uh, the 241 into Irvine, racing down this little wash area here through the uh, grasslands. If we look right there, that's Alton Parkway to the right. So that's uh, coming east-west here through the, the uh, area of, the, of Irvine, and it's burning right up against there. A lot of smoke down in this area. It's very heavy at John Wayne Airport. It did shut down operations for a time, but it's back in full operations now. But you can just see the fire, how much it's burned. This area here, right up against these houses here on Interstellar. And then as we work our way up, you'll see this large area here all burned out. And then right up that wash, right there, going back all the way to the 241, is where this fire was blown by those uh, winds coming through here between 30 and 40 miles an hour. And so they had such a lot of fire come through. Even though it's only flash grass and things of that sort, moves very quickly. It's hard to get ahead of and they did everything they could to slow it down, but right now, fire still burns in Irvine or along Alton Parkway and down the wash area here all the way back up into the hills above the Santiago Canyon. So that's the latest from Sky 5. We send it back down to you. Tim, thank you. The breaking news out of your Melinda, where the fast-moving Blue Ridge fire has now consumed 1,100 acres. Thousands of residents have evacuated their homes. KTLA's Wendy Birch is live on the ground in your Melinda with the latest details on the Blue Ridge fire. Wendy? Hi, good evening everyone. 1,100 acres and this fire is definitely on the move. We're at the top of Hidden Hills Drive right here in Yorba Linda. Now this fire is where we are, north of the 91 and then we're west of the 71. If you're familiar with this area, I'm hearing some crackling over my shoulder. Firefighters are here. They are in structure protection mode and they're also watching this fire as it gets precariously close to houses up here on this ridge. Now, this fire is called the Blue Ridge Fire, and for very good reason. It started shortly after 1 o'clock today in the area of Blue Ridge Road, which is just one of the three neighborhoods that's being evacuated. Fire broke out, like I said, around 1 o'clock this afternoon. We saw at least two houses sustain some real serious fire damage. We don't want to say at this point those houses are completely destroyed, but as you can see from this video that was captured, the damage is going to be incredibly extensive. Meanwhile, we believe that at least 1,100 homes, 1,170 to be exact, are all under mandatory evacuations at this hour. That's tens of thousands of people right now out of their homes. We were on the ground when many of those people chose not to evacuate. Instead, they used their garden hoses. They used whatever they had at their avail to try to protect their homes. Uh, they tried to extinguish fires as they popped up in shrubbery and in bushes in and around this area. Keep in mind, this area is no stranger to fire. It was back in 2008 during the freeway complex fire that more than 340 homes burned, more than 30,000 acres. Neighbors, residents here don't want to see a repeat. Our house is on a cul-de-sac that backs up to these hills. We're, we're right there, so it was coming down the hill right to our house. So we had the hose in the garage and all the gear, and we got, you know, we just went to work. And like I said, my buddy Steve and some of the neighbors came and helped. And so we're just following the fire and helping out the best we can. Now again, this is a wind-driven fire, and the gusts are starting to pick it up again where we're standing. But this is also driven by topography. Uh, this is an area, a canyon area, that hasn't burned for more than a decade. There are some steep hills, some deep ravines. This fire's got room to run. In the meantime, they have at least 10 strike teams on all of this. They've got dozens of fire engines that are really just parked in driveway after driveway all the way down this road, ready to protect and defend these homes. And you can see they're also very concerned for spot fires. Not only did we see the flames upon that ridge, if you look over my shoulder, though, you'll see the black billowing smoke. This fire is moving, and it, there are pockets of this fire all around this area. Again, we're going to be here all night long. We'll keep you updated. But that's the very latest on the Blue Ridge Fire at this hour. I'm Wendy Burch, and I'll send it back to you. Wendy, thank you. Meantime, two